Dear viewers, today we are going to discuss an another topic which is important according to chemistry, bio and physics point of view that is enzymatic biofuel cell. Enzymatic biofuel cell uses enzyme as a biocatalyst to convert chemical energy into electrical energy rather than precious metals. There are two types of biofuel cells. Number one is the enzymatic biofuel cell in which immobilization of enzyme occurs on the electrodes and the second one is the microbial biofuel cell in which immobilization of bacteria occurs on the electrodes. Working principle of enzymatic biofuel cell. In enzymatic biofuel cell, enzymes are immobilized on the electrodes. At bioanode, there will be an oxidizing enzyme which oxidizes fuel to convert it into electrons that move from the external circuit. And there will be a biocathode that accepts these electrons and causes reduction. And it contains a reducing enzyme. There may or may not be present a membrane which may be proton permeable membrane. Electron flows from the external circuit. And we should know that the enzymes are specific for a substrate. Enzymatic versus conventional fuel cell. So what is the difference between these two fuel cells? In enzymatic biofuel cell, the biocatalyst will be the enzyme or its catalytic site. Whereas in conventional fuel cell, the catalyst will be the precious metal like platinum, silver or gold. In enzymatic biofuel cell, the fuel are, will be the substrate of enzyme that may be glucose, alcohol or hydrogen, while in case of fuel cell, the fuel will be the hydrogen. In enzymatic biofuel cell, there is no uh, poisoning of the catalyst, whereas in case of conventional fuel cell, there may be poisoning of the metal catalyst through carbon monoxide or we cannot use higher organic compound so because if it oxidizes organic compounds, it, it will produce carbon monoxide which will poison the catalyst. The enzymatic biofuel cells are cost effective and easily available enzymes whereas in case of conventional fuel cell, the, pep, the catalyst uh, or the metals will be precious and they are costly and rarely available. In enzymatic biofuel cell, immobilization of enzyme will occur on electrodes whereas in conventional fuel cell, electroplating or itself electrode will be the metal. In enzymatic biofuel cell, the fuel will be the renewable or renewable energy sources. We can recycle our bio waste in this type of fuel cells. But in case of conventional fuel cell, it will be non-renewable. Challenges. There are certain challenges to make enzyme enzymatic biofuel cell. The first challenge will be the enzyme immobilization. That what method we are going to use to immobilize our enzyme. The second one, one will be the electron transportation. Uh, how the electron will be transported from the external circuit. The third one will be the dissolution to prevent dissolution of enzyme inside the cell or the buffer. And the fourth one is the uh, we have to uh, use proton permeable membrane. And the second uh, and the fifth one is the uh, uh, either our fuel or substrate is completely oxidizing or not. It is completely oxidized or not. And the last one is the stability of enzyme. Either our uh, enzymes are stable inside the cell and how much time they are stable. Enzyme feasibility. Enzymes are stable at high temperature. <coughs> like if we are going to use Enzymes of thermophilic microorganisms, they will be more stable at up to 100 degrees centigrade. And the, they, are, they provide matrix for binding with other proteins. They provide matrix for binding with the electrodes. They have acidic or basic properties. They contain active site where, where substrate is converted into product. And they have selectivity for the substrate. And so certain enzymes have certain electron coupling reactions. Enzyme immobilization. We can use different types of enzyme mobilization methods like binding of the enzyme through adsorption or covalent burning. Covalent burning will be the most stable one. Or we can entrap our enzyme inside the matrix or encapsulation. Or we can use cross-linking of the enzyme. Hydrogenase-based biofuel cells. These are the most important. 
In this case of biofuel cells, hydrogenase oxidizes hydrogen at the anode and produces proton and electrons. Electrons will move from the external circuit. Advantages of this type of biofuel cell is that the catalytic efficiency of this hydrogenase based biofuel cell is comparable to the platinum. There is no issue of poisoning of the catalyst, no production of greenhouse gases and hydrogenases can be attached on the carbon surface. Hydrogenase oxidase biofuel cell. It is a typical example of our biofuel cell in which hydrogenase is used at the anode for the oxidation of hydrogen, whereas oxidase, the example is lacase from fungus, is the oxidase enzyme which oxidizes, which reduces oxygen to make water. So it converts protons into water. Hydrogenase does not react with oxygen, although it may be inhibited. Lacase does not react with hydrogen, so there may, may not be used membrane. So no need of membrane between the cathode and anode. And the electrons, electrodes are made up of carbon, or may have different modifications. So on the right side, you may observe the hydrogenase oxid, oxidase biofuel cell. How we can make an efficient biofuel cell? We can make an efficient biofuel cell by considering the following uh, points. Number one, the facilitated electron transportation by direct immobilization on the electrodes. So if the enzymes are directly immobilized on the electrodes, then the electron transportation will be easy. The second one is the efficient electron delivery by exposed active site. If the active sites are more exposed, then the electron delivery will be facilitated or efficient. Entrapment of the enzyme in conductive polymers. So we can use conductive polymers as an electrodes like polypyrroles. Immobilization of enzymes on nanoparticles or carbon nanotubes may increase the surface area of the electrodes. Our porous electrodes or 3D electrodes also provide more surface area for the enzymes. Protection of the enzyme from oxidative damage by using proton exchange membrane. So we are going to use proton exchange membrane to protect our hydrogenase enzyme from oxidative damage and the stability of enzyme by covalent bonding. If the bonding, if the bonding is covalent, then our cell will be more stable and its, its lifetime increases. And the use of oxygen tolerant hydrogenases. So we can use certain hydrogenases which are more tolerant towards oxygen. Applications of enzymatic biofuel cells. Enzymatic biofuel cells can be used as portable power generation, self-powered wristwatches and self-powered MP3 players. They can be used as self-powered biosensors, textile based wearable sensors. They can be used as biobatteries and electronic human implants. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos. Thank you.